ever so sweet. You make me sing. Oh no! Everybody gather round. Look who's come back to your town. It is me, Benny Burrito. Today, we're reviewing a game that came out just the other day. Speed Limit. Now, you might watch the trailer of this game and think, what? This game has platforming. This game has action, shooting, flying, driving. The only thing I think it doesn't have is a boat. You don't get to drive a boat. But for so many categories for a game, it took me less than 90 minutes to beat it. But let's start talking about it. First good thing, it's sad that I even have to mention this, but uh, there were almost no game crashes in it. And the only crash I experienced is being worked on. Uh, I had one of the devs in my chat and I told them about it and I hooked them up with the details on it. Uh, but the fact that I only had one is a plus. I feel like most games I play these days have some sort of, especially indie games, have some sort of problems where they crash often. And I, was, I guess I'm glad that this one didn't. This game is pretty adrenaline filled. If you ever saw the movie Crank, where uh, what's his name, the bald guy is running around and like beating the shit out of people. This is pretty much that game, but in like a more retro style feel. It's cool how the game bounces around from driving to flying to shooting and platforming and falling and all of this, all these crazy different mechanics that the game tries to, to incorporate with only really two inputs. You pretty much just use a stick and the, the button to shoot and that's pretty much all you do. Sometimes you aim with the other stick, but anyway. There's a little bit of background and story, but there's not a lot. Uh, and you can see it in the gallery. But a game that's this action-filled and so intentionally pretty short-lived, but yet really quick and just gets your, your blood pumping. You know, I don't think story is really that important for a game like this. And there's a lot of replay value. So because it's so short, once you've done it and you've kind of seen the whole thing, you kind of want to do it again. And I was surprised because I was so miserable the first half of the game and I actually want to play it again. Why was I so miserable? Well, this is the kind of game that teaches you by dying. You're gonna die a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it does the whole sort of, oh, rewind time filter and then you get to try again, you get to try again, and you get to start over again really, really quick. There's not a lot of downtime, which is good. Uh, but don't, this isn't too cerebral of a game. You're gonna die and that's how you learn is by dying. I, I'm not a big fan of those, but if you're into it, this might be the game for you. Uh, one of the most annoying things I found actually was in the first level, you have to tap the trigger to shoot your gun. Uh, whereas all the other levels, you can just hold down the trigger and you shoot your gun automatically. That was pretty frustrating after, well, five minutes of just constantly tapping the gun because guys are coming after you, just, yeah, you'll see. The AI are kind of assholes. They will shoot at you, and then once you shoot the guys that are shooting at you from like a vehicle or something, they'll hit the brakes so that you run into them and die. And you die, and you, like you touch anything, you die. You die, you die, you die. Who does that sound like? It's an extremely short game. That's kind of a bad thing. I mean, I finished the game in 90 minutes on my first playthrough on normal mode. Um, but like I said earlier, it's not really a game meant to be stretched out. So it's kind of, that's kind of more of a preference sort of thing. And sometimes it's not clear what to do. Like there's one boss where, you, it's kind of a boss, where you have to fight a bulldozer and it keeps having people pop out the back and then you keep killing the people that pop out the back, but then it keeps going. And, and then you just gotta trust that that's, just, that's the way to do it. Uh, there's another jet part where you, it almost seems like you could run away from everything. Like you've been doing the whole game where you just kind of run away from everything but you actually had to shoot down the planes and that wasn't entirely clear. But really the whole game feels almost like a modernized calculator game. <laughs> That's kind of one of the ways I felt. I don't know about you guys back in back in high school or middle school you have those what was it TI-83s and everyone would have those cool calculator games like Drug Wars or um, Falling Ball thing. The whole game just kind of feels like a very cleaned up version of calculator games. And I gotta be honest with you, I, like I said, I hated this game at, at first. But as it went on, I did enjoy it, and now I do kind of want to play it again. Maybe it would have been cooler if it was longer and a little less challenging and frustrating, but I don't know if it would have achieved the same goal that it was going for. So for this game, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Because I want to play it again, and because there were moments that I enjoyed, 
And because it was pretty solid overall, I think 7 out of 10 is a good rating for this one. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys next week.